Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to get started creating uh, roll-in VersaWorks cut lines in Adobe Illustrator. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. It really depends on the file type you are using, but we are going to get started quickly with if you have an SVG design. Then I have another video if you're using something like um, a PNG or a PDF, or if you wanna add contour cut lines um, with a bleed or different things like that. But let's just get right down to basics and use an SVG file. Now this video is also going to assume that you have already added the Roland VersaWorks uh, swatch colors to your Adobe Illustrator. If you haven't done that, I would highly suggest that you um, watch that video first. I'm going to link to it at the top so you can um, go ahead and do that. It's very quick. It's like a two or three minute video and then you can come back and um, learn how to actually apply the line color, the contour cut line color to an SVG. So let's get over into Ad Adobe Illustrator here and we are just going to open up an SVG. So I'm just going to click file, open. Um, and I understand that a lot of you, if you're brand new to Roland or if you're brand new to Adobe Illustrator, this can be a little bit intimidating, but this is a, actually a very quick process. So what you want to do is click your SVG. I just have this SVG on my um, computer here. I'm going to click open. It's going to open up in um, Illustrator. Now over here on the right sidebar, you can see I have, um, whoops, you can see that I have properties, layers, libraries. If you're not seeing this, then just make sure that you expand that little arrow there, all right? And then you wanna click this other arrow and send that um, down so that you have all the layers, all right? Now you can see here um, that you have multiple layers and you wanna put the cut line around all of them. So we are gonna go over here to the very top layer, the, the main layer, and click that um, little circle at the top and you can see it has now selected all of them all right so it has a blue square next to all of them also over here blue square so what we're gonna do is just change um, the the uh, path line color contour cut swatch color around them so you can go to view excuse me window and swatches and when oops and when you open up your swatches that's not what you want to do you want to click window and you want to go down it's at the very bottom i apologize this is cut off it's called swatch library and then open the roland swatch library and it will open right like this and then all you need to do is click the the one that you um imported now remember if you haven't done this part this is the very first um, part of the process to bring in those Roland VersaWorks swatch colors. You need to do that because the color not only has to be a specific color, it has to be named a very specific way. So now what you have is you can see your entire design has this pink around it, okay? So now it is ready for you to export and take into VersaWorks. So you're just going to do file, save as, and you can save it on your computer. I would recommend that you save it as an SV, or excuse me, as a PDF. I'm just gonna put it on my downloads so I can see it there, all right? And then click Save, all right? Save as a PDF. Now, if you preview this file, I'm gonna just show you very quickly here. Uh, you will have, you will be able to see that your file has this pink cut line around it. Now. When you open that up into VersaWorks, VersaWorks is going to recognize that that pink color, because it's named Cut Contour and because it's this very specific magenta, it will not print. It will only cut that. So once you open up in VersaWorks, this is what it's gonna look like in VersaWorks. So you see how it has all those little dancing ants around there, okay? That is an indication that you have the cut lines on and that's all you need to do. So as you can see, super fast and easy um, to add the cut lines in um, Adobe Illustrator for Roland. Now, as I said, if you are looking to do something beyond that, something a different, a different type of file that's not an SVG, or you don't want the cut line right on the edge of the design, you either want it in, inside to create a bleed or outside to create a white border, also a bleed, um, that is, a, that is a, an extra step. All right, so I have other videos for that. I will put them in the series in order so you can go ahead and look at those um, on my YouTube channel. And I also have more content on Silhouette School blog, which again, I will also link for you.